Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I am here with Levi, and uh, I'm hoping to make this video short today. And uh, we are going to work on loading and unloading, okay? Loading and unloading. Alright, so uh, we are out here. Levi has had no exercise as of yet, okay? So, and I've done this on purpose um, because I want him to be full of energy and to... To, and I'm just going to say it how it is to basically to be hard to handle basically I want to simulate that he's in the house he's been in the house and you're trying to take him to the vet take him to the park take him somewhere and he is just bouncing all over the place okay full of energy and so we're going to work that with us today and, and get him to load and unload so I'm hoping this doesn't take long or not a long video but I just want to see show everybody how to do this and uh, how Levi's doing this as well. So we've got him in a sit, in a heel position, in a stay position. So I just put him in my, to the left of me, his nose is with my toes, put him in a, a sit and then a stay. So sit would be straight back, stay would be up. So it'd be stay, stay good boy. We go heel, then we say inside. Good boy, good boy. That's a good boy. And we reward him, okay? Now, what I do is, if you notice up here, I've got this little bar, okay, on my uh, on the, the roof of my vehicle here, okay? And what I do is I put my leash through here. My phone will focus. There we go. I put my leash through there, and it gives the pressure like I'm standing beside him, and I can keep him in a sit and stay, okay? Okay, and then I can come out, stay stay and all i gotta do is is apply see how i'm applying that pressure but i'm standing out here so it allows me to swing it out there you go you can see it really good there and go up and over go straight down to the back okay now you say why are you doing that well here's the deal if you're at your house you go from your house to the park to the veterinarian clinic to wherever you want to go to the friends okay what if what if old levi's got a little little date planned um we don't want him to fly out of here and then down this way is a vehicle coming okay you know how that's going to conclude probably not so good okay we got to keep him in here to, to wait for me okay so then i can come back in here and say out good job good boy levi good boy good boy okay bring him back into the same position right here sit he loves to have things in his mouth Okay, sit, good, stay, stay, good boy, good boy. We're gonna try it again, here we go, inside, inside, good job, good job, okay. Now, we're gonna come back out, and this is just for training purposes, I'm just gonna have him come back out, as far as not going through every step, just to show you guys. Now, what we're gonna do this time is we're gonna change it up a little bit. He likes to have stuff in his mouth, there's a stick on the ground. We're gonna change it up just a little bit here. Now, for you at home, okay, so I'm gonna just make a little scenario here, okay? So what, what's happened here is we've got little Junior that was loaded up in the back car seat. We got maybe a uh, little sister in the back loaded up and we're ready to load the dog. So it's a hot day, so we turn the vehicle on, the air conditioning's running, so that nobody gets too hot, right? So the vehicle's running. So we gotta get him used to loading up with the vehicle running. Inside. Hey, good boy, good boy, good boy. And for safety purposes, I have the parking brake on and I'm just explaining this on my vehicle here, which is my Kawasaki mule. And I also have the vehicle in neutral, okay? So the parking brake is on here and which is right there and in neutral for safety. Because if he would step on the fuel, and it would be in drive or what have you, it could have a problem, okay? Levi, Le Levi, Luke, you're gonna go that way, baby. Okay, so I want him to stay there. The door is running, good boy, good boy, good boy. I think I just said the door is running. <laughs> I meant the vehicle's running, the door is open. I don't know how many have caught that. Hey, good boy, good boy, out. Good job, good job, okay. So, now, the door is closed. All right, now, the question is, is how do we get to this point? 
Okay, how did we get to this point? I'm gonna shut this off. Now I'm gonna put it in gear, leaving my parking brake on so it can't be started uh, by accident by my little man, Luke. Uh, therefore, and also the reason of doing that is if my parking brake would give out, uh, it's in gear so it would not be able to roll um, out of control, which I'm on a fairly flat surface here. So just safety first. Okay, so how, how did we get to that point of loading and unloading? Here's how. First of all, what we do is we teach the dog to do a heel, a heel sit um, and whatnot. Let's just say you, you don't, you haven't got to that point. You got a puppy. You want to teach him right off the bat how to go into the vehicle. The first thing is, is you take an eight-week-old puppy to to go in the vehicle, and you just pick them up because there's no way an eight-week-old puppy could 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 do uh, what we're asking because the step the step is too tall. Okay. Now, like uh, Phoebe that we have that we're training, she's a little bit older puppy, and she could do this like awesome. But initially what you do, remember how our rules are. We say, we show them what we want, we give them a command, and then we praise slash reward them. Okay, show, command, reward. Okay, so in this case, what I would have done is I would have showed him what I want him to do as a little puppy, put him in here, and then I would, I would praise him. So I would say inside, and then come outside, and then I would praise him. Hey, 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 come. Good boy, good boy, good boy. Okay, and then over time of building that up, I uh, that would allow me. <laughs> he thinks I got food in my hand. Uh, that would allow me to, as the puppy gets older, then I would place his front paws or her front paws on the plastic or the flooring and allow them to get up into the vehicle. Okay, if you're using a SUV, um, you basically say up or inside. Some people say up or inside, it doesn't matter. And they go, they do it that way, okay? And so they can, they can, it allows them to be able to, to do that. And then eventually, when your dog becomes like a four month old dog, six month old dog, they can get up in the vehicle pretty easily by themselves, okay? Um, let's, let's put a little side note in here, okay? We do not want the dog to exit the vehicle on a leap. Okay, let me explain that. If you're loading your dog and it has an opportunity to jump out the rear of the vehicle, meaning there's like a two and a half, there's a two and a half or two foot drop off, okay? My advice, my advice, and I know a lot of you guys do this, um, but my advice is to get yourself a ramp. They're cheap, they're very, very cheap. And especially, when you are considering uh, the surgery that it would take to replace or to fix a displaced uh, hip or shoulder or elbow, um, it, it, it's, it's, then it becomes very cheap. Okay, you're talking less than $100 at, at the most, okay? Less than $100. A surgery on a hip, a hip is as low as $1,500, as high as $3,500. Okay. Again, depending on where you're located and what your doctor's facility, blah, 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 blah. Okay. So it becomes very cheap, very quick. So get a ramp, teach your dog to go up the ramp, down the ramp. Again, how do you do that? You show them, you, you make it a safe, safe, safe situation. Use some stairs uh, that are one or two tiers high, lay that ramp on there and get them used to walking in a hill position up the ramp. So you'd be leading them up the ramp, down the ramp, and use inside and outside, or up, down, or vice versa. It doesn't really matter, as long as the dog understands what you're trying to say, okay? So we got to get what we want in our minds into their minds, okay? And the only way of doing that is to show them what you want. No, no. No, no. Show them what you want, give them a command, and then reward, okay? And, and, and here's the thing. Even if they just move in that general, uh, that general way, okay? So like you'll see a lot of my training videos, like when I'm trying to show them something that I want them to do, okay? When I'm trying to show them what something I want them to do, even if they give me like they're going that direction, okay? I will give them a praise. 
Like if you see me in some of my uh, videos that we're doing some training with hunting dogs. And if the dog, I'm trying to get the dog to go retrieve the dummy that's in the water, okay? If that dog shows that it's pointing its face the right direction, I, you will notice that I praise the dog. The dog has never, it hasn't made it to the, to, the, to the retrieve yet, but it's going the right direction. You praise because then the dog knows, hey, I'm doing something right, I'm doing something right. And they keep going that way. It's like playing hot, cold, hot, cold. You know, you get, you get closer and closer and they say, you're getting warmer, you're getting warmer, one of them deals, okay? So I hope that's helpful. In that, we're just kind of, he is full of energy this morning. Whoa, sit, good boy, good boy, good boy, stay. Good boy, that's a good stay. Good stay, right there, that's good boy, good boy, come. Good boy, heel, good boy, good boy, good boy. Okay, that was, we're gonna get right into 12 minutes. So we're gonna wrap it up. I just wanna show everybody that little video here with Luke. We're gonna keep going. And uh, we're dancing between the rain showers and um, trying not to get too muddy here, but getting muddy is part of it. I'm not too worried about that, but I just don't wanna get all my, my camera and my training stuff wet. So we're just dancing between the showers and trying to do videos here and there as we can throughout the day. So uh, like usual, we always appreciate you. If you subscribe, share these videos. I just got off the phone with someone and they shared the thought that they really appreciate our videos. They have a puppy that they got from somewhere else and um, uh, the puppy jumps. And so we did a couple of videos. Actually, I got three videos out there that addressed that, that situation. And uh, they said it really helped them out. And so my, my payment for, for that would be just to simply subscribe to our channel, share our, our videos. That would be just tremendously helpful. So anyways, thanks a lot. I appreciate everybody. And uh, we'll see you on the next one. Yo, yo. Good boy. Good boy. Whoa. Sit. Good job. Stay. Good boy. Good boy. Come. That's a good boy. That's a good boy. Good boy.